Welcome to Pavitra Laptop Care. See, I have received a motherboard. It's a very special motherboard. You know why? Actually, it has 4 RAM slots. I'll repeat, it has 4 RAM slots. Okay, these are our higher end motherboard. See here, it's a 1, 2, 2 slots and here also 2 slots. The main problem was power on, no display, but immediately it was getting shut down. Hmm? So that was the issue. So in some cases, uh, the shot, the motherboard shot will be very complicated thing. So here also this motherboard has come with very complicated things so that I wanted to explain, I mean share the problem with you people. Okay. See this one, one general instruction I will give. This one is very costly motherboard but it's very rare cases you are able to see the four slot motherboards. Okay. Uh, now I got a motherboard. The model number is BP500NMA. 451 so in this model you will get four slot motherboards that also not inbuilt it's an external one okay here is the processor graphic card and pch in gaming laptops in higher end laptops pch will be separate and processor will be separate so that is a one important point so it has multiple things see this usb kind of uh, power supply and type c also it has so and other uh, all are normal things usb ports what was the problem in this so the problem was with the 5 volt supply okay 5 volts always see when i was checking when it came to me there was supply Okay, that 5 volts I was getting when I press the power button. So it was immediately it was going to shut down means it was getting ground. It was grounding and again when I press power button again after some times it was showing 5 volts and again it was grounding. So that was a really complicated case because if you if it is completely short we can remove easily but it was not complete short when i was checking here so there was a beep so then what i did i removed actually it has two dual mosfets okay here it's very rare cases which i told you it's uh, really uh, higher amp rating 5 volt section it has two mosfets two dual mosfets okay it means it's a total four mosfets it has for 5 volt section See one I removed because it was short and then I removed this jumper, this both jumpers, this side also was short and this side also was short. When I removed this capacitor then short gone, okay, this short gone. So here I confirmed the 5 volts it's generating, okay, and this side was short. So it was around uh, 2 to 3, uh, what is that impedance, okay but beeping completely beeping and two to three impedance was there then usually what we will do we will remove all capacitor related to five volt section right five volts always section that i did okay see and i'll tell you the secret of the main complicated case the yeah, usually what we will do we will remove the capacitor that's the common thing there is no special in that but after removing also you will get the same beep it's a 2.0 or 3.0 uh, what is that impedance with beep in that case what we have to do we have to check each and every component component in the sense ic level okay the track where it has gone all the track we have to check and we have to disconnect it see multiple sections i disconnected here multiple track i cut here because it, it was very difficult to identify so usually i won't cut the track hmm? see multiple sections were there so many places i cut but in this video you can't able to see uh yeah uh, main thing is here yeah, this mosfet had gone so that also i replaced then 19 was okay and then 5 was the fluctuation thing so now when i come to this part so here each and everything 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. See 5 ICs I removed because all IC contains 5 volt supply. 
this section so after removing this i got 45.0 impedance with beep see what was the problem initially it was 2 or 3 after removing this i got 45.0 then then also it was getting beep so in that it's not uh, actually it's not completely rectified thing because with uh, 3 volts or 5 volts always always it won't give beep okay but still i was getting beep until unless we remove this beep so we can't give the supply that you have to keep it in your mind okay this is the complicated case because after removing these ices also we are getting 45 plus beep so it should there should not be beep then what i did i removed main core ic see here is the main core ic here also the supply was there then also problem was not solved okay problem was still there that was giving 48.0 means it's a three uh, improved uh, what is that impedance was there hmm? now what we got we got 48.0 impedance okay see once again i'll repeat repeat first we will remove the appropriate capacitors after that also same beep then completely we will check the ic level so where it has gone those ics we need to remove and check see here also the core uh, ic also i removed and i checked so still i was getting the beep then finally finally here i came this section usually graphic section finally we will check because here all the section will give beep say uh, beep side no that's why so here also in this particular ic the graphics ic this is the graphics ic so here also it was giving beep so what i did i cut the track see i first i cut the track i disconnect the 5 volts section then also both the side i was getting same impedance see here is the very very important point you has to be noted here core ic when i removed one side actually here track also i cut cut so one side it was beep and other side there was no beep then also i removed the ic the thing is if you are getting both side impedance same impedance then there was an issue there is an issue okay that you need to identify there is an issue that time what i did i removed this ic this is a graphics ic see first cut part here also was beep and here also was beep after cutting also it was beep so then i realized i removed the ic now 100% this beep has gone now you understood now sometimes how we can solve the complicated case so it took completely one day time to me hmm? it has only schematic there is no board view and all so one day completely i was sitting uh, i was uh, doing on this so multiple sections i checked i cleared and finally the problem got solved so now i am going to connect those uh, ics which i removed if intel graphics is there i will return to customer saying this it will work through intel graphics so i will do that uh, this to uma and i'll give to them otherwise if he want really so then i'll remove the ic see this one was the ic so i will replace this ic and after that i'll give 100% we will get the display so this one it will be useful to you i think so because the beep once again i'll tell you the common fact is beep if after disconnecting or after uh, cut the track the same uh, issue you will get then you need to replace the ic okay after this also if it gives beep so then other ic also you have to replace i mean remove this okay so that's the reason i removed multiple i see now my problem got solved and one more special thing in this it has four ram using this motherboard i will explain the schematic things in future step by step how it will work and what are the difference between normal motherboard and this particular motherboard in future i will explain step by step stay tuned thank you thank you very much